Hello, my name is Laura. I'm a visual artist and I'm also a teacher. I'm really delighted to be working with you all on this series of online video workshop visual art tutorials. The series of workshops have been generously commissioned by the Courthouse Arts Centre Tinnahealy, County Wicklow, and it's funded by the Arts Council of Ireland. In this series of workshops, we're going to explore a range of art making techniques and processes that artists, designers and creative practitioners use in their own practices. We're going to be looking at colour, line, form, shapes, textures and materials. Most importantly, in every workshop, we're going to have the chance to explore our own creativity and imaginations. I'm really looking forward to working with you all in this series and I can't wait to see your own imaginative responses. Please share some images of your work with the Courthouse Art Centre Tina Healy. Thank you. Hello, welcome to today's workshop. In today's workshop, we're going to be exploring line and pattern. I'm going to share with you some activities that I enjoy to support my own drawing practice. All of the activities are going to look at continuous line drawings and these will support you to develop your own style and approach to drawing. We're not worried about creating an exact um, replication of the objects that you'll be drawing. We're more interested in you developing your own style. The workshop is specifically targeted at post-primary school students and adult learners, but the activities are absolutely suitable for younger children too with an adult around to support them. Um, different materials are going to be needed for today's workshop that are all found around your own home. We're going to need A4 paper, masking tape, scissors, a ruler, lots of black markers of various thicknesses, um, biros, glue sticks, a stapler will be handy too, markers, a paintbrush, um, colouring pencils also and please do as well gather up any old pieces of paper and cardboard that you might have around the house. So in our first activity we're going to make our own notebook using scraps of paper and different surfaces. Then in our notebook we're going to explore continuous line drawing and then we're going to move on to creating repeat patterns similar to designing your own wallpaper. So I'm looking forward to getting started. Let's go. Thank you. Old envelopes are a really great um, resource to use for making your own notebooks. They've got really interesting surfaces and especially those little plastic um, envelopes can be really fun as well to include.
all parts of the envelope can be used. You can use your scraps from your larger notebook to make a miniature notebook and you can have some fun with the plastic envelope as a little pouch or pocket for your mini notebook. Now you're getting started with your continuous line drawings. Try and look at your hand as much as possible while you're drawing and don't worry too much at all about what you're drawing. It's really important to keep your marker moving all the time. Don't lift it up from the page if you can at all. This is a continuous line drawing. We can have fun with our drawing tools. Rather than using one colouring pencil, I'm using two, sticking them together with masking tape and away we go. I'm looking at my hand for most of the time and trying to have continuous lines. In this case, we've got two, blue and orange, moving along the edge of your um, outline of your hand looking really carefully at your hand, all of the lines and creases in your fingers, in the, the shape your hand is holding. I'm gluing lots of A4 sheets together. I've marked out a line on each sheet so that they're going to join up straight to keep a nice single long line. And we can use this for extending our continuous line drawings onto a, a larger scale. You don't always have to work from your table. Um, you can go for it on the floor, spread out your work, um, make sure it's taped onto the ground so it doesn't move about when you're um, drawing. I'm attaching a marker to a paintbrush. This is really just to give some extra length um, and distance as you're drawing. It frees up your hand that it's not so tight and close to the paper and really helps you develop looser, freer ways of mark making. Again, it's continuous line drawing. I'm looking at my object and really trying to carefully observe the shape of the object and using my marker to make those marks on the sheet. Now I'm working into my continuous line drawing extended sheet again. This time I'm drawing with the marker in my hand rather than attached to the long paintbrush. So your mark making is going to be much closer. Um, it's going to be more details. You're going to get a different um, type of mark making 
as opposed to having it at more of a distance. This can be really interesting to start building up an understanding of your different approaches and styles of mark making. I'm using a different colour to add further contrast to the work. You could do this many times with lots of different materials to really get a super dynamic overlay and layering of line. Enjoy. We're going to be looking at repeat pattern. Artists and designers create repeat patterns and they're used in all sorts of ways, in our clothing, in textiles, in ceramics, in prints. I've gathered some from around my own home. Tartan curtains have a repeat pattern. Um, a flower design on a jacket of mine has a repeat pattern. And wrapping paper swans galore in a repeat pattern. Tiles often have a repeat pattern and here is a nice very simple and bold blue and white repeat pattern. Now we're going to make um, a square from an A4 piece of paper before we start our repeat pattern work. So on your A4 sheet make a triangle, get your two corners to line up and then mark out the, the edge of the triangle. Cut here and you've made a square from a rectangular piece of paper. It's really handy for this next activity and for lots of other um, craft activities that you might do. So for our repeat pattern work I picked some random objects that I just happened to have around my studio scissors, small tube of paint, apple, um, marker, clothes peg and a sweet wrapper. Again I'm using continuous line drawing, looking closely at the object and not worrying too much about what I'm actually drawing onto the paper. Lots of observation. Try not to draw too close to the edges of the sheet because we're going to be doing some um, folding and cutting of the edges of the sheet so please do keep your edges uh, clear. Now we're going to start cutting out our tile so fold your sheet in two and cut. Number the corners one and two and you're going to turn your square. Don't forget to number the other corners, three and four. You are going to fold your sheet again and then cut. Now you're turning your piece again. You're going to have more empty space that had been at the outside in the inside now. Tape your tiles to keep the piece together. You can do an extra drawing if you wish in the middle part where there's empty space now. And please do watch this section again if you need help to figure out the steps in creating a repeat pattern tile. From one A4 sheet we can make many. We've already made one long continuous strip, this time we're, we're making a wider rectangle. We'll use this to extend our repeat pattern. The window is a fantastic place to trace your repeat pattern. All of the light coming in makes it much easier to trace than if you were working on your table. Do make sure to use lots of masking tape to keep it all secure. You can leave your repeat pattern 
black and white or you could decide to add color and you could get the whole household roped in to help you with the coloring could be a fun activity for quite a few of you to to do enjoy You can also concentrate on more of the outline of shapes when you're drawing. With the leaf and flower, I'm mostly working on the outline and then just adding the center um, of my flower for detail. Then I'm using markers, dipped in a wet paintbrush to colour them in a watercolour style. Of course you don't have to use white background, for this piece I'm using brown paper. This could be used as wrapping paper or a wall hanging and again this is something you can carry on and continue and continue with. Enjoy! Thanks so much for taking part in today's workshop. We explored line and repeat pattern through a variety of different activities. Firstly, we started with making our own notebook. For this activity, I used old envelopes and um, you could find uh, reusable paper at home, maybe paper bags or something like that. So lots of different uh, surfaces and colours in the envelopes and I'm using an old cereal box here as my cover for the notebook and as a finishing touch I'm adding a ribbon as a um, holder. You could make a series of these to keep your drawings and um, doodles from different activities. Um, as we were working, we were focusing on continuous line in our drawing activities. Continuous line basically means that you're keeping the line going at all times. You're not lifting your pen on and off the sheet. This really helps you develop confidence in your own line work and allows for quite solid flowing lines to start developing. You can um, also work on different scales. The notebook here was, was very small scale for a series of hand sketches. And then I made, using A4 sheets, a concertina style notebook. Concertina, like the musical instrument that expands and expands and expands. This one does too. So you could go really wild with that and create a really long notebook if you so wish, just using A4 paper, uh, print stick and off you go. <laughs> then after our continuous line explorations, we moved on to repeat pattern and we used the window as a really useful tracing space with the light coming in from the window. It works just like a light box where you trace your, your design. And um, again, I used A4 sheets to make that larger. You could make that, continue that uh, pattern, growing and growing like a wallpaper to decorate your home. I also used brown paper here for a different approach to it. Again, repeat pattern. And these are my repeat pattern tiles. And you can watch back in the video to check the steps in creating your tile and moving moving your pieces around for that. Um, please do send in your pictures of your work. I'd love to see your own invented notebooks. I'd love to see your continuous line work. I'd love to see your repeat pattern work. I'd love to see you getting your whole house involved, perhaps in colouring your repeat patterns like I did here at home. So please do send photos of every stage of the process 
please um, add them to the Courthouse Arts Centre Tinahili Facebook page or email them to director at courthousearts.ie. Really looking forward to seeing your work. Thanks so much for joining. Enjoy exploring continuous line, notebook making and repeat pattern. Thank you.